I've spent my lifetime serving my country. And now it's time to serve the community. And I'm willing to do that no matter what it takes. Stand beside but we got to stand and fight. Through the night with the light. You're my neighbors, you're my family, you're my friends, and you're some of the best people I've met in the last couple of months. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being tireless. We here in Idaho deserve more. We need to stand up and fight and put an end to this project and show other people that they can put an end to these uh, false green monstrosities. When this first started, I wasn't directly in the impact zone that they have applied for permits in my allotments now. We've asked for the EIS to be written in Spanish and we were told no. I don't believe that God moved mountains and made things happen in my life that don't happen to the ordinary people just to take it away. The Bureau of Land Management is deciding whether to allow the Lava Ridge Wind Farm Project to become a reality. And if approved, up to 400 wind turbines could be built about 25 miles northeast of Twin Falls. The proposed project area sits about two miles north of the Minidoka National Historic Site and 25 miles northeast of Twin Falls within Jerome, Lincoln, and Minidoka counties. You're looking at what's left of the Minidoka War Relocation Center, where more than 13,000 Japanese Americans were once incarcerated. But its skyline could soon be filled with massive wind turbines, a project the Friends of Minidoka say would desecrate the sacred site. It would destroy that area, and it would definitely harm the experience at Minidoka National Historic Site. It outlined those concerns in its draft environmental impact statement, a more than 1,800-page document analyzing the project's impact on things like bats, livestock grazing, greater sage-grouse, and climate and greenhouse emissions. You could be far right, far left, in the middle. If you live here and you're in the Magic Valley, Southern Idaho, it's brought those people together. I haven't talked to anybody that is in favor of it. The turbines could be anywhere from 390 to 740 feet tall. That's more than double the height of the Statue of Liberty and just about 140 feet taller than the Seattle Space Needle. I mean, look, this is an out-of-state company from New York coming in here doing this to our land. They're going to take the electricity, not use it here. It's going to be shipped south uh, towards uh, California where, where they'll use it. I like my daughter here to have the same landscape that I grew up with to have the same opportunities to spend time in the wildlife that I have. We will permanently lose this land if we don't stand up and fight. So today we gathered here to basically let our elected officials know that we appreciate their signing resolutions of opposition to Law Ridge, but that that is not the end of the story. We still need to keep fighting. So what, they, what the BLM needs is they need to hear from you, they need to hear from me, they need to hear from our community about the different environmental impacts and, and the flaws in that report. And we had a good turnout and I just encourage everyone, we have nine more days to submit our comments to the BLM. These comments must be considered substantive comments. They cannot just be emotional, opinion-filled comments such as, I hate wind turbines, wind turbines are ugly. I'm going to ask you to do something. I'm going to ask you to blow up the phone at the BLM and the Department of the Interior for the next nine days. Write letters to stand up for the Hispanic community, the Basque community, the Portuguese community, the blind and the deaf. They aren't even represented in the scoping report. There's not a group of people standing up, you're it.